You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on KLOS. That was Michael. Kiwanuka. I was going to get there, man. Uh, okay. Stepping on me feet again, this guy. I thought you were waiting for me. It was show finish. business, Mr. Shovel. Uh, Thanks. Cold Little Heart. That was the long version. That was from the, uh, the movie, uh, the TV show, Cold Little Heart. No. Little Big Lies. Little Big Horn. What's it called? <laughs> As a representative of HBO, I can tell you that it is called <laughs> Big Little Lies, and it is a stunning masterpiece. Yeah. Have you watched it? Or are you just saying that because you have to keep in with them? It is a stunning masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> it's doing well, isn't it? Yeah, I think, yeah. It's a, it's a, a major success. <laughs> I know, I know a lot about it. Did you have, um, do you ever watch that other show, um, Leftovers? Oh, that's too scary for me. I yeah. need to be able to sleep at night. So, so you've seen some of it then? I just the promos, and that's a, that's enough. That's too much for me. He came on the show a couple of weeks ago. Justin that's right, Justin. Thoreau. I heard Thoreau, I heard him on here. Yeah. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. He's a good good dude. So you got is that on HBO? Yeah. What ain't on HBO? Uh, well, TV is not on HBO because, as you know, that's not cable. It's not TV; it's HBO. So, <laughs> why do they still call it cable? Because there's no—is there cable? Time Warner. Yeah, well, Spectrum. Cumulus. Time Warner, Spectrum, um, Verizon. We like Verizon, don't we? I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to trick Verizon into giving me a deal also. I'm just going to keep on <laughs> pushing Verizon and see if I can get, <laughs> get in on that. Do you have an agent? Um, I think so. I like the fact that you didn't show up here with an agent. Everyone, like him, Justin showed up with an agent. Oh, oh I Not could, an agent. Publicist. Uh, publicist. Oh, I don't have one of those. And I could, I, they wouldn't come even if I invite, I mean... I couldn't get anybody here. I, I was like, ask my wife. She was like, I don't think so. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> They're not my favorite people on the on the planet, publicists. They are their own favorite people, though. Oh, so yeah. they don't need you. Yeah, exactly. They take care of themselves. You've, you've probably had a taste of uh, publicist uh, drama, right? That's the same to me as like promos for the leftovers. It's uh, that that's the maximum amount I can handle is just a a taste. Yeah. And then I get very nervous. Yeah. I just like showing up by myself to anything that I do. I don't like anyone flapping around at me and I like just it gets to me it gets done quicker. Let me ask you something. Yeah. Could I be the person to come with you to things and flap around and do could could, could I be your publicist? No, because I, I wouldn't provide any services, but I would like to go to the cool things that you do on a regular basis and just kind of hang out. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Can you get me on uh, Silicon Valley? Sure. No, I don't mean standing there. I mean, like, doing something in it, like a bit of acting, seeing that old Mike Judd stole your name. That's true. Well, now it seems like just to avoid any sort of legal Lawsuit. situation. Yeah, yeah. We, it seems like the only way out of it. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll run it up the flagpole. <laughs> uh, so what made you get into acting? It was in Texas. <laughs> Houston. Yeah, you know. Do you know Owen Wilson? Well, yeah, I did a I did a movie with Owen a while back. And he's from Dallas. He he is. He's a good Texas boy, yeah. You're kind of similar. Really? I that's, think, I think like, like humor-wise, you're kind of similar in the same kind of ballpark. And that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. All right, thanks. Yeah, is that was that is that? Is it... <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> Jonesy. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I love that guy. He is the coolest. He's funny. He's so funny, and he's wicked smart. He's the he best. He texts me from. Uh, he's in England with uh, Woody. Oh sure. Is he doing something out there, Woody? Is... Yeah, marijuana. Wait, what? <laughs> Well, apart from that. Oh, is he doing... Oh, that, yeah, I don't know. Unless he's talking about Ronnie Wood. No, he's talking about Woody Harrison because they're good pals. Owen. Woody Allen. He was in England. Oh. I think he's doing a movie Is there. he doing Midnight in Paris 2 with Woody? 
Woody loves sequels. He's known for that. Woody, uh... Woody Allen is always, you know, Vicky, Cristina, Barcelona, and then he added Madrid for the sequel. Does he live in New York, Woody, Woody Harrison? I mean, Woody, Wood, Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, Woody... Woody Allen. Woody Allen. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he could exist anywhere outside of New York City. Do you think he's a good director? I'd love his work, yes. Yeah, yeah. But you're not. I don't know if it's still okay to love his work, but I I do. Why not? Because of his his, his personal life. Well, we've got the. the I, th- I think it was. I think it was the Onion that had this great article that was like, "Well, you've really put us into a position now, Woody." Yeah. <laughs> About like liking his movies, but yeah, being having concerns. Yeah, he got. Well, what about who was the other bloke? The, Polanski. Was, yes. Yeah, that's a sticky one too. Now is is he allowed back in here now? Was he allowed back a couple of years ago? There was some news about it recently right. that because the I think the the victim the victim came forward and said it didn't happen. Well, she I think she said I don't know if I don't think she said that, but I think she oh. I think she was saying like he should like be allowed to come in back into the country and like you know have, have be allowed some to come. Of, oh boy. No. Oh, oh man. dears. Come out in the country, you mean? Yeah, yeah, and I called it a sticky situation, so look at us. <laughs> look at the two of us. It's a daytime show, people. Um, look what you've done now. You started it. Did I? What do you think of, um, what do you think of, um, I know you're going to say you love him. Um, um, oh, man. Does all them movies. Um, uh, Owen's in a lot of them. Uh, Tenenbaum, uh... Oh, Wes Anderson. Yeah. Well, well, now that you said you know I'm going to say... Well, I mean, I don't want to say... That's up your alley, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's totally up my alley. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that easy to peg. <laughs> Just look at me. <laughs> like, this guy knows when the Jewish holidays are and he loves Wes Anderson. <laughs> I love I love his mo- I love his movies. Oh, per- okay, great. This is this works out then. I love his movies. I love them. I really do. Just the visual, the visuals of it. Um, my favorite was the one uh, Moon, Moonrise Kingdom. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to live in that movie, in them yeah. little them little islands with the scouts, and just it was it was just great. It doesn't even have to have a story. His movies to me. Yeah, and those kids are those kids were awesome. I mean, you like getting that like weird Wes Anderson aesthetic down. I imagine it's not easy when you're like twelve, but man, they nailed it. Yeah, it was so cool. Yeah, it was great. So what's what's uh, what's up with you now? So you've finished filming this season. Yeah. F- uh, three. Four. Four. Fours. Yeah, fours airing uh, now on Sunday nights. And is everyone every lead? All the main characters, are, are they always wondering if they're going to get killed off? You know, it is that kind of show. It does have that Game of Thrones feel where at any moment one of us could, you know, be stabbed in the eye. Because um, that's just, you know, that's the mean streets of Silicon Valley. Uh, <laughs> uh, I No, I, I wake up in a cold sweat every night thinking it's my time to go. Truly. Really? Yeah. Well, no. yeah. Yeah. But you love Mike. Always. You love Mike. Mike loves you. Well, I know one of those things is true. I <laughs> hope the other one is true. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Did, were you worried that they were going to kill you off at Californication? No, no. I, 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 it was the weirdest thing. I just got a phone call from uh, uh, Tom Capinos, mm. the, the creator of it. Yeah, and he loves rock and roll. He's always got people doing little one-offs in it, so I thought it was just going to be, you know, a little one-off. And I and I started, did the first uh, episode, and uh, I think it was a test to see if I if I could do it or not. And I guess they liked it, and I ended up doing two seasons. That's awesome. You know, but I think they were leaving a back door open in case I was just a blithering idiot who. It's a weird thing, the whole musician, actor, actor, musician thing. You know, I don't think, I don't think like, them big companies like, who, who, who are the companies like, CAA? CAA? CAA and yeah. all them. 
I don't think they take you that seriously if you're a musician. And you, no. And you want to be an actor, yeah. There's some really good actors who are musicians, though. Dwight Yoakam? Sure. Who else? Who would you think? Well, there, I mean, there are some... Rick Springfield? There are some rappers that are really awesome actors. Yeah? Yeah, Method Man, awesome actor. Did, did he do method acting? Exactly. <laughs> That's why they call him Method Man. <laughs> so he's like Marlon Brando? Exactly like Marlon Brando. In every way. <laughs> Oh, this is fun. <laughs> uh, should we play some music? Sure. Who do you like? What bands do you like? Uh, well, I was going to tell you, actually. Uh, Pearl Jam, you said you like. <laughs> <laughs> that is a trap. Um, well, I, I recently did a, a play about the, Ramon, about the Ramones. Yeah? Yeah. And I got really into, I listened to a lot of you guys. Because we were doing research on on Ramones, so I, you know, I've I've been listening to a lot of Ramones over the last few months. What was you? Were you playing one of the Ramones? No, I'm too short. I played Phil Spector. Ah, it was about the the play was about the, the album. One album, yeah. That that Spector produced. It's, yeah. It's turn of the century. That's right. Yeah. yeah. End of the century. End of the century. Yeah. I like their version of "Baby I Love You" from that so that that. That's a great yeah. It's a great tune. Johnny Ramone hated that album. He didn't like that's, the way it turned that's out. That's right. Did not did not care for, very much for the soft, the softness of end of the century. Yeah, yeah. And the soft touch of a uh, what's his name? Oh, Phil. Yeah, Phil Spe- American I mean, hero he, Phil Spector. He used to lock him up in the studio. Yeah, yeah. That's what. Yeah, the guns and crazy. Yeah. He's Do a you crazy think guy. he really killed that bird deliberately? I think it was an accident. Ooh, here's the thing. I think he did enough crazy stuff before that yeah. that he probably needed to go away as a safety precaution. So he's in a prison now, right? Yeah, he's in pretty bad shape. Yeah. He says the echo is really good in there, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like prisons are very echoey. He feels at home in there. Yeah, the, the cell of sound, yeah. <laughs> Let's play the Kinks, Victoria. You're listening to Jones's Jukebox on KLOS with my guest, Josh Brenner from Silicon Valley. Take it away, sunshine. 